so there it is it's all fully dipped and uh, and uh, it's dried now it's been drying for like a week the only really problem to it is there's a crap ton of texture to it and uh, you know like sandy it might uh, might kind of ruin the uh, the color you know so what I'm gonna be doing over the next uh, day or two or whatever is making some test strips uh, out of some like paint sticks because it looks like the uh, this magic marble paint has some like uh, some problems actually taking a clear coat without it peeling up so uh, what I've got going on <laughs> I made some uh, I made some a little while ago but you know the problem here is that they're uh, don't have any paint on them basically so I'm gonna redo these I'm gonna paint some black on uh, black on the sticks and then re-dip them this afternoon um, and then when they're dry what I'll do is I'll be doing some different things with them like uh, maybe lightly sanding one non-sanding try some different clear coats and see what sticks and what doesn't because the internet is uh, full of facts and I might as well figure it out for myself <laughs> So that's what's happening. I'll uh, keep you updated. All right. Well, there's the uh, black uh, paint test sticks, the official ones. So uh, once these things dry, uh, I'm gonna uh, like uh, lightly sand them so that they don't have any like uh, glossy paint or anything like that on them. And then uh, I'll be uh, dipping them uh, with more than just. Uh, you know, uh, two colors. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, yeah, once they dry, I'll be able to check out some, uh, some different clear coats and see what stays and what doesn't. So right on, uh, more updates to come. All right, everybody, it's, uh, it's close enough time to uh, dip this stuff. So I decided to go with four colors. I got, uh, holy crap, what is this? This is, uh, I can't even read it. I'll put it up here close so you can see it. Maybe you can see it. I can't see it. Anyway, this color. <laughs> this one here. Another color looks like that one, but it's a little different. <laughs> some yellow. I can tell that. That's yellow right there. Right there. And then some blue. This is uh, dark blue. So I'm going to put all four of those in the water. Mix it up a little bit. And uh, hopefully, whoops, it'll come out looking a lot better than these. And then once it dries, like I said, we'll, uh, I'll get some different clear coats on there and some different finishing ideas and uh, go from there. More updates on the way. Well, there they are, the test strips. They didn't come out so great, but they didn't come out so bad. So, I don't know, kind of like the guitar. <laughs> so they're still wet. They got lots of time to dry. Uh, I still got to get a couple more different clear coats that I'm going to be trying. Uh, one of them, I got two of them here, so I might as well share my, my idea. So, not that I get, I don't get promoted or nothing, nobody pays me shit for this. So, you got this one here, this, uh, barathane, uh, polyurethane. And then, uh, there's this one here. This is, uh, the Rust-Oleum Clear Ultra Cover 2, which just happens to be the same stuff that I used before. Uh, I use this stuff too. Uh, a triple thick glaze. It uh, it came out really good, but it didn't react so well to uh, the uh, the paint that I uh, put on there. So that's my three options right now. Uh, another thing I've been told is to get some shellac to uh, coat the. Uh, Marvel mystery paint with and uh, hopefully that would uh, hold up but we'll find out that later well thanks again and uh, yeah updates to come